previously on Alaska Brian. Let's check on the trail cam. Would I possibly get lucky enough to see a brown bear? I don't know. Let's find out. That exceeded expectations. Well, let's plug in the memory card and dive right into the action. A big bull moose just growing in some velvety paddles. Wow. Okay, let's go. I thought this would be a great place to put the trail cam. Oh my gosh, I hope I never encounter that beast. I need to be a little more situationally aware. Woo! That's actually yesterday morning, 4.55 a.m. Oh man. Awesome. I've been really enjoying this. Oh, I'm going to put it back out there. And um, it'll be interesting to come back in another month and see if we capture anything else. I'm bored. Should I have another cup of coffee? How many cups of coffee have I had? What should I do today? Looks nice out. I should go outside. How many cups of coffee have I had? Maybe I should read a book? <sighs> I've read this book before. I could take a hike, go for a run. I could exercise. I could check my game cam. How many cups of coffee have I had? I'm gonna go check the trail cam. Back on the game trail. Gonna check on that trail cam. See what we caught this month. Last couple months we've had brown bear, lots of moose, and a lot of dogs, especially Holmes. Um, I heard that Holmes' owner found out he's been turning up on my trail cam videos and is trying to keep him a little closer to home. So we'll see if he turns up this month. But yeah, let's go check it out. All right, well, here we are, the trail cam. Let's pop it open. I'm gonna throw it in standby mode. Take out the memory card. Let's get on back in and check it out. Ah, oh, what an amazing day. I'm gonna go ahead and check the results right here outside. So let's plunge right in. Oh, the brown bear is back. Let's pull this back and look at that again. Oh my goodness. And you know what? That's the very night after I checked the cam last time. There's my buddy Holmes. There I am. We were actually having a flood and I was a little worried about how high the creek behind our house was getting. Black bear! I've been wondering if we'd see some of these guys. This is the first time a black bear has shown up on the cam. Another black bear, a couple nights later. Yeah, I knew it. I knew they'd start showing up. It just, I guess it had to be fall for them. Oh, you know what? That is 17 minutes after the last one. So I wonder if that's the same bear or a different one. I have no idea what triggered at that time. Either it was the wind or something moving too fast. Holmes again, star of the show got to make his monthly cameo. Another black bear. You know, that one looked a little bigger, maybe. I'm not sure, but it was nighttime again. And that is a bull moose. 
there with some nice velvety paddles just coming in. And that's it! Not as many as the last few times, but I'm still happy with it. Alright, I thought we'd do a little size comparison here, so let's look at some of the animals we've caught over the past couple months. And since the camera's in the same exact place, we can get a pretty good idea of the size difference between them. Well, there's Holmes. I'm guessing he's probably an 80-pound lab, somewhere in that range. So he's a good baseline. I think we all know what a normal-sized lab looks like. There's that black bear. And as you can see, he's not much bigger than Holmes, so I'm guessing he's pretty young. Whoa, and that brown bear, he's quite a bit bigger. And finally, the moose. Of course, a lot bigger. Here I thought I'd overlay all four of the animals and myself, which is a somewhat unnerving look. But as you can see, that black bear is just a little bit bigger than Holmes. And then that brown bear is probably two or three times bigger than the black bear. And of course, the moose is almost as tall as I am, just at the shoulders. That's a big animal. Uh, glad that I didn't see any of them while I was standing there. Oh man, this has been so much fun. Once again this month, we had a brown bear. We had a bull moose with the velvety paddles. And this time we even had some black bears, perhaps the same one over and over again. I'm wondering if, since we didn't see that brown bear after that first night, if he moved on somewhere else and the black bear were able to kind of move back into this territory. But anyway, I'm gonna put the memory card back in the camera. And until next time, Stay interesting and stay wild.